Reddit Avengers Theory. Whoosh! <laughs> A lot of stuff here. There's so much shit up here. You, you don't want to know. Um, are we doing end game theories? We are doing theories. We are discussing our personal theories and those theories of people that are just wrong. <laughs> right here, right here. All right. I'm your buddy, Big Johnny G, and with me is Tommy V, Two Gun Pixie, and we are here to talk about what we think is really gonna happen in end game. Exactly. Um, John, you have been oh, you have been a comic book fan since since you could walk. Basically, right? Yeah, me and Stan Lee used to go buy the same uh, comic books. <laughs> it's making me install Reddit on your phone. I don't know what All right, just, just, I'll, I'll understand. Uh, I, I just, I just. The, uh, and you've been a huge Avengers fan. You know oh, Avengers yeah. canon inside and out. And you know, the funny thing is, actually, T-Bone, when we were kids, Anthony was the, the huge Avengers fan. I wasn't. I was actually a fan of the original Defenders. Yeah. Doctor Strange, Silver Surfer, the Hulk, Submariner, Valkyrie, Moon Dragon. You can't get a better team than that. Right. But then they ruined the team and changed it up and ruined the comic completely. And I said, wow, New Defender sucks. Okay. And that's when I got into the Avengers. And wow. Well, you know me. If I get into something. You get, you're into me big. You know, with me, it's 100% or nothing. There's no half measures. Exactly. Right, Why should right. there be? If you get into something, get into it. And how how have you been feeling about the transitions Avengers has made onto the big screen? You know, I'm not a kid. Yeah. I, I would have been upset at some of these changes, I'm guessing, in my, in my teens and 20s. But I understand that, you know, there's a difference in how visually things are going to look on right, film right. as opposed to in the comic book. So a lot of the changes with costumes and everything, I don't have a problem with because they handled it well. Um, everything really kind of makes sense, both aesthetically as well as uh, uh, functionally, you know, especially Captain America's suit and how they honored the original with that whole yes. uh, USO routine bonds that he was doing. It was, it was a great nod to the actual comic book suit. I, you know what, this is, this is how I view it, and this is the way everyone should view any, any adaptation. Right. Whether it's an adaptation of the Outlander novels to a TV show, whether it's an adaptation of, of Marvel comics to movies, you have to understand that by its very definition, an adaptation is not the same thing. Right. So the way I view it, coming from comic book and science fiction, is every adaptation is just another parallel universe. Yeah, yeah, and well, I mean, we've that's been the way I view lot. it. Which is why I, I, I don't get overly upset. You know, my wife is a huge Outlander fan. And mm -hmm. when they were first casting for the show, she was following all the, the YouTube groups and everything. And that was her real first encounter of meeting, meeting people that just don't understand things and just want to have a fight. Like, there was an argument literally over an inch in height between a character in the book and an actor portraying the character. I can't remember which one. Yeah. It was an inch in height. And these, and, and there were some individuals that were just going ballistic over this. But you know what? It's not the book. It's not. You know why Nick Fury is black in the movies and in the comics he was originally white? Because it's not the comics. Get over yourself. It's different. It's an alternate reality, a parallel universe. And once you understand that that's all an adaptation is, a lot of the stress is removed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Telling the story their way. But we're, uh, but so I am, I'm a huge fan of the Avengers. I've seen them through, uh, I, the comic books, I saw them through the uh, late 70s, right up into the early 2000s. Right. Okay, great. So you are, and 
You are all in on end on the end game. You lo- did you like Infinity War? I thought Infinity War was done extremely well. Yes. I'm I'm a huge fan of the original storyline in the comic book, and and I understood mm-hmm. within moments of the movie, I understood that this movie is not Infinity Gauntlet. This movie is the two issue comic book mm-hmm. Thanos Rising. Yes. Okay. Where he finds out about the stones, and then he goes himself, and he's collecting them. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the space stone was held by a guardian, uh, not a guardian, by an elder of the universe called the Runner. He looks like the Silver Surfer a bit, but he's all gold. Right. And he has hair. But, and that's all he does is run. He runs through space. He's, no one can beat him in running. He, uh, he can outrun the Silver Surfer. All right. And Thanos had to... Well, technically kill him, but because of an earlier deal that another Elder, the Grandmaster, made with death, the Elders of the Universe are immune to being killed. So, killing him was just uh, a temporary yeah. solution to get. Mm-hmm. But that's all it was. And and by the end of it, it was pretty much done. And it ended off with Silver Surfer crashing through the Sanctum Sanctorium to tell Doctor Strange what's going on. Okay, that's they, interesting. They, 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 there's no Silver Surfer in the MCU because until just recently, with the buying out of Fox, they didn't have the rights to him. So they just changed who it was. Now it's interesting that you bring up ultimate Doctor reality. Strange. Well, Doctor Strange is one of the theories that I want to talk about. Most specifically, uh, the idea, and you know, there. First of all, we should say there are some spoilers here. If you are not caught up. With Avengers movies, go and get caught up. Before spoiler! 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 But the idea is that for uh, a little bit of time in the movie, Doctor Strange had the Time Stone. Yes. What do we think Doctor Strange did? What what he said he did was to go and visit other timelines, no, other possibilities. He, he was looking. At looking. Him. He was looking. Uh, and then only found one where there was a success. Now, let's examine Doctor Strange in this movie for a moment. What does he tell Tony Stark about his protecting, his protection of the stone? He tells Stark flat out that if he has to sacrifice Stark and the boy, the kid, Parker, yeah. to protect the stone, he will do it. Yeah, and then, then ends he up. sees all these other realities. Yep. yep. I forgot the damn number. Oh, 47 yeah, yeah, yeah. million or whatever the heck it is. Yeah, yeah. The, the point is it's huge. Okay, that's really all that matters. And he says in only one of them they won. And he and then later he said that it was important that Stark has to live. So he gives the stone so Stark could live. Then when he hands it over though, the gem lights. It was used. Well, that's what I'm wondering. He had all the time in the world at that moment to set things up in motion for them to win okay so this gets into this gets into what pretty much has been dismissed by now but I'm just going to mention anyway because I think it it makes sense and it sounds cool is I believe if it's not a phony make believe a wild goose chase of, of a trailer I think what we saw in the trailer with Tony Stark leaving that undying message to Pepper Potts right 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 which is oh my god I gotta say oh he's got a tear in the yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah they, pulling these, those they, strings. Uh, because they have created and nurtured these characters so much and everyone has fallen in love with them of course something like that just oh man it hit you we've had we've had collectively although not everyone in each movie but collectively we've we've had up until that point, 20 movies with these characters in or mentioned in that are alive in, in the audience's mind. Yeah, yeah. So now this has been pretty much dismissed. Right now, the, 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 the big going theory is that uh, after that message, Gamora gives him a verbal kick in the ass and they end up using her body parts for him to fix the ship and get to Earth. That's the current big theory. But my theory, and I yeah. still think this is interesting playing with the whole Doctor Strange thing. Yeah. My theory on this... Is that scene is the beginning of the movie. That scene is the beginning of the, the movie. The very and first thing we see. Tony Stark dying. Oh. What a punch in the throat that is going to be in the audience. Now hear me out. Hear me out. 
Okay, I'm hearing you out. I don't know Tony if they kill Stark him like that. Tony Stark dies. Maybe, yes. But due to the alleged time traveling aspect in the movie, Tony's still in it. Earlier versions of him. Now, by the end of the movie, this is where it gets good, Tom. This Check is this the time out. travel. By stuff. the yes, by the end of the movie, yeah. When the Avengers and friends fix, I've been doing that a lot. Fix, quote unquote, meaning not really fix. When they put things back to normal. Then, by the very fact so that Thanos think... didn't win, Tony Stark was never in that position to be dying in space, so he, he never does him. die in space. Now, this... Woo! Okay, okay. This, and I'm going to go back because we still need to address Dr. Oh, Strange. I, oh, I, oh, no, he fits into my theory. What I think uh, that's an interesting story. Is Thanos going to be the villain in Endgame? Why? He's retired. He's, He's done. done his job. He is not going to be the villain. They're going to face something He different. had one job. Collect six rocks and snap your finger. And he did it. Okay. So go back to Doctor Strange. Now, before the whole dismantling of Gamora to fix the ship idea, it took off on the internet. Right. My idea was, Doctor Strange said, Stark has to live. Strange uses the gem before he gives it to Thanos. He projects himself into the future. Saves Stark and Nebula, opens up a gate to Earth. Right. Sends them back to Earth. Possibly goes back with them because he does have all the time in the world to work out a plan. And then he goes back literally, and I'm using that word correctively as in non figuratively, he literally jumps right back to the nanoth of a second. Yeah. So Thanos and no one else, no, no one Nobody else even else knows, knows he went and did anything. Because he's the only one, if Stark is going to die but get saved, he's the only one that can do it. There have been theories about this is where they're going to introduce Silver Surfer. No, they're not. This is where they're going to introduce Galactus. No, they're not. Captain Marvel's going to save him. No, she doesn't even know who the hell he is. What are the odds that wherever she's coming from in space, which is infinity, it is going to cross the path of the busted Milano or whatever the new shit is called, and she's going to see Stark and be like, oh, I might as well save him. No, no, no. This is setting up a really oh. amazing And scene. one other theory was that Pepper Potts in the rescue armor goes into space and saves him. No! You don't think? No. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you why your theory resonates. Is it would be such an amazing scene. They've already set it up as this deeply poignant moment where he's recording his last message to Pepper Potts. And that moment is completely disrupted by Doctor Strange just like popping into the scene. Yes. Disrupting everyone's theories, grabbing those two and bringing them back. To the 90s? And he's even going to say... No, 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 no. To... No. To when? Br Doctor Strange doesn't have the time stone anymore, so he can't manipulate time. But he can still open up portals, as we as we see, like, like Wong right. does. So he's just going to open up a, a teleportational gateway portal, a wormhole through magic, to, uh, to, to, to either the Sanctuary or the Avengers compound. He's dust. I just remembered. He's dust. Who? Doctor Strange. Yes, but he wasn't dust when he went through when he time. Went through when he went through time. <laughs> now, I also am a big proponent of the theory that everyone that got dusted is in the Soul Stone. In the comic books, the Soul Stone is its own universe. Do you own ever go dimension. in the Soul Stone? Yeah, Adam Warlock used to banish... If, if, if someone was a complete asshole or too powerful, Adam Warlock, who traditionally in the comic books bore the soul stone right on his forehead like a bindi, he would banish people to the soul world. Gamora herself, is... when she was a bad when she was still an assassin in the comic books, she was banished there. Adam Warlock himself was banished there. That Thanos was banished there. That is a uh Ghostbuster shutting down the grid problem waiting to happen. <laughs> yes, it is. And that way everyone that guy, I, I can't, you know, I can't really snap with my, my left hand. Everyone that got snapped can come back because they're not dead. Okay, interesting. However, people like Heimdall mm -hmm. 
who died physically, not by the snap, mm-hmm. they're not going to come back. Mm-hmm. Unless somehow whoever has the, the glove at that point mm-hmm. just wills everyone that died because of Thanos comes back. Interesting. Now, here's something else you got to keep in mind that, and I think the trailers so far have proven this. Okay. This movie is literally going to be taking place on the heels of Endgame. So, uh, they're still in the field. Captain America They're is still, still dealing with this. The world is still... Now, the reason I say this is, let's just... Because there was a much earlier earlier theory that's long dismissed. There was a much earlier theory that this movie took place <coughs> three years later. <coughs> because of that moment in the trailer where they drift to Captain America in that um, that support group. Without the beard. But then the other shot's still in the movie where he does have the beard. So you're thinking that may have been a flashback. Here, here's, here's my question. Why I, why I know it can't be set any time period more than on the heels. Mm-hmm. Because if it's three years down the road, then Tony Stark and the Avengers have now become Thanos. Because within those three years, <clears throat> babies have been born. New lives have come into existence that only came into existence because half the population is dead. Two people that would never maybe have hooked up That's are now dark. having a baby. That's dark. Three years later, this child is part of that solid reality. So if Tony Stark and the Avengers, at some late, any time later than like a week, really, come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. a month maybe, any time later than that, they are now Thanos because they are going to be destroying lives that have come into existence after and only because of the snap. Well, okay, if, if people are trapped in the stones, like you said... Uh... Okay, put it in your head like this. Put it in your head like this. You survived the snap. Yeah. Your wife, Christina, doesn't. Right. That sucks. If you're watching this, Christina, I'm truly sorry. <laughs> In real life, I would hope it'd be reverse. No. All right. I say that out of respect for your wife. Okay, but my point is, two years later, however you're dealing with things, you're moving on, you meet someone else. Mm-hmm. You end up having a relationship. The following year, you have a baby. No, yeah, no, I and understand. And then a year after that, and Tony you're, Stark you're, goes on the news, this. and Tony yeah. Stark says, I'm going to fix this with my own, with my own Infinity Gauntlet, no. and he stops yeah. it, and your yeah. baby disappears. This isn't a hard concept to get. Uh, but that is interesting. That is evil. That is interesting. And once again, it is, the greatest, the it is the greatest form of evil because the evil thinks they're doing good. How did it work in the comics? What happened in the comics? They snapped everyone back. How long? How long after did they snap everyone back? Oh, it wasn't long at all. I mean, the, okay. uh, the, the, the so battle no one was, was getting busy in the it's time. It's hard to say because there was a, a metaphysical battle going on as long as the battle in the physical world. Uh, that right, was right, happening. right. So time kind of fluxes, but it, it was it was a it was an ongoing battle. It wasn't like okay, we lost this battle. Get bring our troops back. Get reinforcements. We'll go in again tomorrow. It was just like one continuous fight. Mm-hmm. You know what? And there is a um, there is kind of a nod to the timeline because Ant Man at the door in the van that you saw at the end of Ant Man, which line, has the, the quantum, which cannon, has the quantum right? cannon. I mean, he probably made a beeline right there. So this is all rather soon mm-hmm. after it happened. Yeah, it must be. It yeah. must be. Yeah, because like I said, otherwise you're making the heroes the bad guys, and I cannot see Disney doing that. So we got... Uh... Now, I have a question. Yeah. Going all the way back to the first Avengers movie. Do you remember what the first thing Loki said to Captain America was? No. Do you remember? He referred to him as the man out <laughs> of time. Mm. Yeah, yeah, okay. How the hell... And I've been asking this question for years. How the hell did Loki who never met Captain America, had only just come to Earth, right? How the hell did he know who Captain America was in his background? How did he know that this guy was frozen in a block of ice? That he was literally stuck out of time? I don't know. What you have I'll tell you how. Yeah. Loki's planned this whole thing out. Well, yeah, Loki was working for San- Than- uh, Thanos. Santa. Santa. Santa and Thanos, yeah. Yeah. In fact, Loki doubled as the Krampus. Yeah, he's 
he is behind a lot of this. So, your buddy Big Johnny G's theory on this. Let's hear it. Is that... Let's get Fu involved in this. Okay. Is after Loki fell off the Bifrost Bridge at the end of the first Thor movie, and sometime between that and Avengers 1, he ends up with Thanos. All right? Yeah. He finds out or is told Thanos' plan. His ultimate plan. Right? Yep, yep. The first thing that's going to cross Loki's mind is that in this entire universe, there are only two people I care about. I keep blocking my face every time I do that. There are only two people in this entire universe I care about. My mother Frigga. Yeah. And although he would not admit it, you can tell by his actions. His brother Thor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have, they have a relationship. Only two. He doesn't care about anyone else. Those are the only two people he genuinely feels something for in his heart. Yeah. And finding out Thanos' plan, he discovers three things. There's a 50% chance my mother will die. There's a 50% chance my brother will die. There's a 50% chance they will both die. Because mm -hmm. just because one dies doesn't mean the other one won't. You don't know what half of the 50% of the universe, they could both fall on the same side. Yeah. So he there's three possibilities that... Someone, if not both of the only two people he cares about, is going to die. Right. He has to tell someone. But even All Father Odin can't stop Thanos. Okay. And on top of that, and this is the kick in the butt, who's going to believe the god of evil and mischief? He Who? doesn't. Yeah, he does. He's not trustworthy. So I believe that he put together. This whole plan of the Avengers. Yeah, it was a S.H.I.E.L.D. idea. Yeah. But I believe that he decided to use this opportunity to give his brother a team. Not that his brother and the team are going to win the day. Right. To him, I believe they're nothing but pawns. Right. That will allow, just like any good magician, while you're watching this hand, Thor and the Avengers, you don't see what this hand's doing. Loki faked his death at Thanos' hands. Yep, yep, okay. He is not the Hulk. I'm so sick and tired of this. Will you people Loki. stop saying that Loki is hiding his banner? Okay, he's not. It was a decent theory until one thing happened. One thing happened. When he when Banner was in the armor trying to convince Hulk to come out, they and he out. partially changed and didn't. Yeah. There's no witnesses to that. There's no reason why Loki had to do that. Every other time, he needed to to act. But he's not a method actor. He yeah, wouldn't he continue to act when there's no eyes on him. Yeah, exactly. No, no. Forget that. that, that that's not, that's not, Forget that. But he did fake his own death. Mm -hmm. He is doing something right now behind the scenes. I, I have a wild theory. What's your theory? Are we going to see him in Endgame? Oh, yeah. I believe that he and Strange are working together. I believe another thing Strange did before he went back to Thanos mm -hmm. was he set the seeds in motion in different parts of the timeline. And I believe <clears throat> he spoke to Loki. Because Loki already knows what's going on. Loki's already wanting to make a plan. Yeah. And then Doctor Strange shows up. Yeah. And tells him, dude, this is exactly what happens five, six years from now. Whatever right, the time frame right, right. is. Woo! You need you 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 want an idea, you gotta put these guys together. Right, right. Or however he tells him, but I believe that Doctor Strange and Loki are working together. And at the very least, Loki knows what's going on. Like and as I explained, he's put this together yeah. so that he can stop fast. What is the second Doctor Strange movie? When's that going to be and what do you think it is? I, uh, I, I've already heard that allegedly they've uh, confirmed, uh, they're using the same director, so it's going to be the same director-writer, which is good. Keep that continuity going mm -hmm. and feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baron Mordor is not going to be the arch-villain in this movie. Oh no. Yeah. He is going to have a sub-storyline to build up as the big villain for the third movie. Really? He's going to be running around doing things, killing sorcerers, taking their powers like he was doing at the end of the first movie. I don't know if he took the power. He stripped the guy of the power. I don't know if he actually took it. Did he? I can't remember that. But he took the power from the guy. 
And he said, there's too many sorcerers, too many wizards in the world, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The source word he used. Yeah. He's going to be continuing to do that in the right. background of the second movie. The villain, if you haven't heard, spoiler if you don't want to know, uh, but allegedly it has been confirmed, the demon Nightmare. Who is that? Whoa! Nightmare. He is, he's a demon, but he's more than a demon. He's also literally an embodiment of the dream world and the nightmare world. Yeah. And as long as there is someone, or at least this is the way it was, if, if they retconned it, I don't know. This is the way it was in the 80s and 90s. As long as there was one being in the universe capable yeah. of dreaming, yeah. nightmare exists. He's Freddy Krueger. I love that. He is basically Freddy Krueger because he is the lord of the nightmare realm. He controls nightmare monsters. He can control the environment in the nightmare. He's he can he the can nightmare M A Y E R. Mayor? No, mayor like a horse. Like a horse. In fact, he, he rides a black flaming horse too. Oh, I see. I see. I got him. He's right all down. pale. Well, not, not, the earlier picture, yeah, in the old days, he used to be like, like just like like sheet white. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> this is. There, that's good. That was sure. And if not, I'll just post something up. Here. Wow, nightmare. Okay, that. <sighs> Which is really good. I like that they're that, that especially with Doctor Strange now that they're bringing in bigger uh, cosmic uh, beings. And there's a lot of scuttle, but if you're watching this, you probably watch other talk throughs of opinions and thoughts and ideas about Endgame. Uh, so you know, there's a ton of talk that the Living Tribunal is going to show up in the movie. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. um, we have 30 seconds left. Oh, dogs! Jump in Jehoshaphat's! Jump in Jehoshaphat's uh, before it jumps to another ah! uh, video. Uh, this has been so our... So this is it. This so, is our talking, talking Comics. This is... Uh, we don't know what's going on yet, right? We talking Comics? No, not Talking Comics. Nerds comic. of Gavin nerds. or something. Else. But you know what? The point is, uh, we're trying something a little bit different here at Two Gun Pixie. Uh, so if you like this... Let us know. A little bit different. Still nerdy, but not board games. Uh, but if you like this, let us know. Uh, we'd love to keep doing these if uh, if you'd want to watch them. And uh, thank you for checking us all out on Facebook and Instagram yeah. and Twitter. Yes. And we've been telling all about the Zazzle store with some cool shirts. Oh, yeah, May yeah. the crypt be with you. Ah, you got a cool Mind Flayer shirt. Yeah, you don't have yeah, it on. Yeah, I don't have it on. I'm not wearing it. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, so thank you. And, and right here, YouTube, for liking, subscribing, for sharing our videos. Man, sharing is the best because... Then other people get to see how much you like us. Yes, yes, definitely. All right. So I'm your buddy, Big Johnny G. And with me is Tommy V. And my friends, we are out of here. Stuff. All right. How do I get to the Reddit? Uh, do you have an app, have, a Reddit I'll app? I have Reddit there, so you just have to Google. Google Plus? Is that a search engine? I don't know. I don't know what to call What do you? What do you use? Internet? Uh, I just I just hit Google and the bar at the top. I just hit that oh. bar right there. Oh. Look at this, you've got it all set up. What system are you using? I just go to Google. I mean, what show, which phone do you have? The Samsung. Galaxy what? Galaxy 8. Oh, you got the 8? Uh, I think well, so. Yeah, I think you, well, you got the bigger one. I got the Note. Yeah.